Hey guys, Nimboso here for part 4 of our Cheat Engine tutorial videos. This one here, we get to find the instructions that actually modify our values and we change it so it does nothing to our value, which could be used for a god mode or to freeze our player's location indefinitely or freeze other players' locations, depending on how the code for the game is. But let's get started here. So we have our value, which we can assume is health, why not? Search for it, 100, this is the same as in all the previous videos, nothing really new here. And we have our value, change it a couple times, looks like the right value. Now what we want to do is right click on it, find out what writes to this address. You could also use what accesses this address, but we for this example are using what writes to it. Uh, this will attach the debugger of Cheat Engine to the current process. Continue. Yes. Some games, though, will detect if you have a uh, debugger attached and will ban you in the worst case or in the better cases just crash. There's ways to bypass that, which we will again get into in the future. But for right now, the tutorial does nothing. It makes it easy for us. So this here, the debugger, is watching this value and monitoring any instructions that change it. As you can see, we change it a couple times. And it is now telling us that this instruction here, located right here in memory, is the f instruction that's modifying our value that we determined is health. What we can do now is modify it so it increases our health or decreases by a certain amount or what the tutorial tells us to is we can replace it with code that does nothing so it changes it from move eax edx to nop what this originally did is took the value in edx which would be which was seven last time or whatever it was and puts it in the value pointed at by edx, or sorry, eax, which would be our health location. Now we change it to nop, which is no operation. And you can see we change it, it does absolutely nothing, letting us press the next button and continue on. Before we do that though, I'm going to quickly go over what you're seeing in this screen here. So these are all just values you can check if we go decimal for example this is usable to search area around a value you want to see if there's anything else of interest stored in the same location such as you find your health maybe your mana your player location and that sort of thing is stored near it for now let's stick to this upper part and you'll see all these different op codes or your instructions and they are the assembly level visualization of what the game is doing. Um, all of these have their own certain things. Move moves the value there into the value pointed that by that. This moves that right into EAX. You're going to want to look up an assembly tutorial for x86 assembly. It'll make it a million times easier to actually reverse things because right now this probably looks like a mess. And I don't blame you, when I first started I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Just following YouTube videos and the like to essentially find cheats without learning. But reading up on it helps a million times more than just guessing and guessing and guessing. So yeah, we've changed our value to NOP, show it in disassembler. It is now no operation, so it does not move that value into our health. Um, see you guys in the next video.